and for the glory of His majesty. The lofty looks of Hello, everyone. Shall be humble. Yes, we are live. The haughtiness of men. And the Lord alone shall be exalted. It's like exalted one. Prepare my church cult. I want us to do this very fast because uh, the energy I actually wanted to use to do this, the energy just depleted uh, about 10 minutes when I came, when I, I was about to come into the broadcast. That is why immediately after this, we are going to do another broadcast. I'm preparing it now. Right now, I just want to talk about Bishop Mike Okonko. I'm asking if the bishop is a rebel. I'm asking if he's a rebel. I don't know who knows him, but over the years, I know him. But as I know him, I also know a lot of people. You understand? We are truth lovers and we speak the truth. He has been kind to me as many people have, have been kind to me. But me, I'm not a praise singer, people's praise singer. Today, I came about a video, and that is why I want to do this broadcast. Uh, yes, Bishop Mike Okonko, I salute you and I celebrate you. But I'm asking people, is he a rebel? Why the question? I will, I will bring you down the lane, all right? Let me share this with you. Yes, uh, not this one. I remember in the 90s, in the 90s, coming into early 2000s. That is uh, Bishop Michael Conco in the picture. He was the uh, president of Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria at the time. And uh, he was at the forefront of some ministers who spoke against tb joshua that he was a charlatan 
I think if we are we are using the word charlatan, these are the people that started using that word charlatan. They started calling TB Joshua charlatan. It was a big uh, a big uh, battle. We are many people. We are many people were afraid to tread. He stood at the forefront, defending the faith. All right, defending the faith, most especially when um, Pastor Chris Oyaki Lome joined TB Joshua in his evil. Bishop Okonko started calling them out. At that time, many people were afraid of TB Joshua. Baba Adeboye couldn't come out to say the truth. That is why when TB Joshua died, the Baba was the Baba is a double-faced. He, he even greeted TB Joshua's wife. So that means. If a Songoma died, Adeboye should greet the family. If an Okotis died, Adeboye should greet the family. Okay? So this bishop, Bishop Mike Okonko, even right here, he took on the president of Nigeria telling the president of Nigeria that what he has done is wrong. Okay? I'm trying to do two things at the same time so that immediately we finish this broadcast, we can enter into uh, the next one. I'm, I'm looking for, okay, um, where's Sadigo now? All right? So, um, thank you very much, Kofi. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much, Jeremiah. Thank you all the way from Germany. Kindly share, share. Share, share, share. Um, Sometimes uh, people think maybe those people that come on broadcast, they don't they don't like ministers of the gospel because some people usually ask who are the good ones please i'm not saying any you know you should trust i'm just saying my own you know my own conviction don't say uh Bissola recommend anything to you i'm just saying i'm standing on the truth okay so today, let me share the, the, the video I, I got, and you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. We are many pastors are looking for your money. They are looking for your first fruits. We are many of these ministers. They need your money desperately. I had something different from bishop okonko so this is why i'm asking if he's a rebel it takes a whole lot of courage to say what he has said and i salute him for that okay let me let me let me share this with you you think that if i want to if I want to make merchandise of the tram wall, I can't do it. I'm not afraid of you. I'm afraid of God. It's not you I'm afraid of. Let me take it again. It seems that if I want to, if I want to make merchandise of the tram wall, I can't do it. I'm not afraid of you. I'm afraid of God. Don't you have afraid of? <laughs> I've read my Bible and I know that 
consequences for what you do. When you toy with the souls of people and play games with them simply because you want to put money in your pocket. That's why when I see people writing all kinds of things in social media, abusing every man of God, they say, I just, I just, it's even stupid. How can I, how can I be a, a part of a household and I will allow somebody who, who has no covering, it's not my covering, to speak into my life? People ask me, Brother Michael, what of this title? How do you? I say, it's not an issue with me in my church. I don't waste my time over something. It's not an issue. As I teach, I teach the church. I tell them what I know is the truth from the scriptures. Many, many years ago, a young a, 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 a preacher came to me and said to me, Brother Mike, no, you have a, a big church all over the train world that that look go and collect their first fruits. I'll come to your church and help them. Teach them to collect your first fruits. You know what you'll be with first fruits. You know they, they, they know how to, how to amplify first fruits. He pointed, this one does it, this one does it. I said, leave me alone. Let me do the way God is leading. I said, it's not all about money. I said, show me in the back. What did you teach when you went to those churches? He told me the churches you went to. I listened to them. I said, from what? You have not still answered to me. All your, all your tapes you brought did not support that the New Testament that is what should be done. You collect all the first fruits that give to me. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine all the businessmen, all the profits you make? Think of it. All the profits you make, all the businessmen, not only in the headquarters, everywhere. And you bring them to my, at my feet. Even if I didn't read it in the Bible, my conscience <laughs> will not allow me. That is it. No, 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 no. That's one of our, one of our, 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 our preachers, our pastors. Who wanted to do it? He's no more with us now. And I, I told him, impossible. And he went behind me to do it. It was what sent him out of this ministry. It's not every gift you take. Take the one that you go to bed and sleep. Praise the Lord. Lord. You think I don't know what people who are junior to me, the, the type of cars they drive, the type of places they live in. You think I don't know? The type of houses they live. I celebrate them. I I, I clap for them. But honestly speaking, <laughs> I don't get intimidated. It doesn't trip me over. I, honestly, I don't feel worried. How many cars will I drive? 
How many places will I sleep? Yes, when we talk about men of God, I'm looking at one right now. See, it's not only what he has just said. As I told you from the beginning, I said I've known him over the years. And I've never come out here to sing his praises, if not because of additional information that I have. Okay? In 2008, when I left the synagogue, um, if anybody will bear witness that after leaving synagogue, I never returned, it will be one of those people that can witness for me. When life became terrible, I, I, I never sit in his church as a member but he sent for me i don't know he asked people to look for me what adeboye didn't do what deeper life didn't do what many of them didn't do he said how can i help you and he did couples of help that really helped I didn't talk about it so that people will not say, ah, he's the one sponsoring. He did not sponsor me. He just wants to look after my well-being. You understand? After some time, I do not even see, you know, you know, you know, the church pastors. You don't just go to their to their church and say, I want to see pastor. You understand? But what he has said today really really blow my mind and sincerely speaking i'm giving it to him yes i'm really giving it to him he said he's not afraid of the members but afraid of god only afraid of god thinking that all this will end one day those people that are collecting your sweat those people that are collecting your 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 first fruits they don't think of here after they don't care they only need money and they will take your money even without looking he even said there was a pastor who wanted to uh destroy tram organization and he started doing behind when he discovered they sent him away these are the people who jesus referred to and said peter do you love me than all this do you love me than than cars do you love me than landed properties do you love me than having mansions around a pastor ibiome is said to uh, either two plots or two acres whichever one is said is not enough to pack all the vehicles he has what does he want to do with that he cannot drive more than one car at a time you build mansion you cannot sleep in two rooms at a time i was telling somebody that if god give me car i don't want to have two cars in my lifetime i don't want to have two these two that he said i don't curse yourself i said he's not a curse i don't need two of them if i have one and somebody has give me one and maybe that one is old and I buy and I have money to buy another one. That one that I have is either I sell it off or I dash it to somebody else. I use it to bless somebody else. That is Christianity. All this we will leave it someday and go. But those your pastors, that's why we are saying when you go to church, 
Don't forget your brain at home. How can somebody now tell you that the, the old money you made in a month should go to their pops? And that money doesn't is not going to the organization, it's going to the pastor directly. That's their own. And the and the tight. That's their own. And they will take it without blinking. Forgetting that in the Bible, first fruit is not translated into money. Your first fruit is your, your first child. Will they agree if you take the, your first child to them and say, okay, this is my first fruit. Let my first fruit be with you. Send my first fruit to school. Will they, will they agree? Definitely they will not. Okay? Definitely they will not. These people, they are terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So, I've already put it, set it. We want to talk uh, immediately after this. Kindly join me. I want to ask, why is sex, why is sex so cheap in church? Why is sex so cheap? Anyway, this is for uh, Bishop Michael Konko. You know all the things that is uh, other pastors or other bishops, other archbishops, they are doing. He said he is not doing it. Except anybody who is attending trend. We, we want them to come out to tell their experience. Okay? Because it is freedom to the captives. We are standing on the truth. But for what I have known, I'm, I'm saluting him, sir. You are a, a true representative of heaven. You will not fail. You will not fall in Jesus' name. God bless you, people of God. Um, by 5.30, yes, we will see again so that we can quickly discuss that. It's really, it, it broke my heart when I saw that video. Again, we are just talking about some, some Oposo uh, or whatever his name, Sami. Sami has been a random a random, you know, uh, serious sex predator. He was attending House on the Rock. I did a broadcast in the morning. But many of you, you will not watch it because it's about Bible studies. I went back to the book of Exodus 28, where God addressed King of Time. And God was talking to the spirit inside King of Time that you are perfection of creation when you were created until iniquity was found in you. The word of God says in the, in the body of, of Satan, of Lucifer at that time, his body was created with musical instruments. He doesn't need to open his mouth to praise God. That is the spirit in, in, in some of these choristers. We are telling you that gift, gift can lead you to hellfire. But character of God is the one that leads you into the kingdom. Go and read Galatians 6. 21 down. If you if you know what gift can do to people, you will rather not want to have gift. Some people will have gift of prophecy, gift of uh, they can sing, they can worship. But if you don't if you don't watch it very well, the spirits of Lucifer 
we join together in, in many in many choristers you will see a lot of divers lots of things you will see them there will be homosexuals among them there will be there will be you know pervertas you know different things among them they were only using that gift to cover face I can sing, I can prophesy, I can do this, I can do that. Somebody was saying they pressurize on Adeboye. Are you dumb? Pastor, don't say this. Don't say this. You mean they can pressurize you to go to hellfire? They pressurize him. They have become Padi Padi Pastor rub my back i rub your back what are you talking about please before you say that you better remove pastor out of your name they can pressurize adeboye you know how how long adeboye has been in in what he's doing that they will pressurize him to go and greet a sangoma don't say that why couldn't they pressurize Bishop Mike Okonko? Why couldn't they pressurize other ministers? They said they pressurize him. That means if they pressurize him, that means Ademoye and all the people in RCCG, they are not worshiping God. You see how you are indicting them. You see how you are indicting them. The people in RCCG, you better take your Bible and run. The word of God says, run, don't stay. Come out of them. If he was under pressure, can't he stand? The word of God says, after doing all, all, everything, stand. So he couldn't stand. That's what the Bible says. If you think you are standing, you should watch it. So he couldn't stand. He fell. And he needs to readdress it. Because he has, he has directed many people into hellfire. I will, I, will, I, will, I will insult your personality because you are insulting this platform with your myopic with your myopic thinking yes this is freedom to the captive movement platform so if you want to say something you be in spirit these are the things we have all gone through that god did not permit us to die or to perish on the way and we are coming here to open people's mind and you are telling us that somebody is under pressure we are not here for Adeboye I only want to talk about uh, the video of Bishop Okonko you see Bishop Okonko is a rebel he rebelled against all of them he said they brought they brought CD to him in order to indoctrinate him. But he stood his ground. He said, how can I? How? That, that, there is somebody in the word of God that said that. He said, how can I do this? That, that is Joseph. Joseph, when he was under pressure, when he was under pressure of that woman, sleep with me, sleep with me. The, the, Joseph said, how can I do this? And sinned against God. And you are coming here with appellation of pastor. And you are, you are telling us that he was under pressure. I greet all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord bless and keep you. Please keep standing on the truth. Don't let anybody pressurize you, either their pastor, bishop, or whatever. 
Okay? Don't let anybody pressurize you. God bless you. God bless you. We are coming again. Hide in the dark. Creep.